visuals, gestures, um, movements that we have in my body. And this piece was really, it was one of those pieces often when you make work and you have an idea of changes. And this was a very conceptual piece and you wanted to make one where I was going to be wrapped and unwrapped. There's three or four vignettes that occur. And I was interested in the interplay between my body as the central pole where the interchange of fabric happens. And I was interested in this external source, the hands, which are um, willingly acted by my husband, Chris. <laughs> He's the hand model. And, and then this, this middle space, the fabric, which displays the tension, the slack, the give, the take. Um, between the hands and the body. And I think this piece really speaks a lot about uh, the work that I do. I'm interested in veiling, um, the body, revealing and concealing, and, and those codes that are placed upon me. So that's some of the ideas and um, uh, questions and concerns I was thinking about. some sounds interjecting, whether it be our own heartbeat or our blood screen, or in this case, uh, hum is actually about uh, the electrical transformer current that runs through uh, any, you know, civilized kind of space, any kind of residential space. This building right now has a power grid that's running through it that is creating a very specific tone. And it's one that we're all familiar with if you've ever turned on your fridge and you've got that sound that starts up and you're plugged into an amplifier, you know, you hear that guitar is kind of plug their cord in and so it starts to make this hum. Uh, this one specifically deals with uh, hydroelectric boxes and how these are a very ubiquitous, you know, thing that exists no matter almost where, where we walk, whether we're in a park or whether we're in a, in a residential uh, area. Those tones, very, very low tones, uh, affect and influence the way that we experience the outdoors. So the, the piece is also about how those tones have been linked with uh, uh, sleep disorders, uh, neurosis, uh, you know, different people have been affected by them in different ways. So I've created a, uh, an environment where it's, it's almost pleasurable to be in to a certain degree. It almost feels like you're, you know, that meditating kind of humming tone. Uh, but really the piece has this other side to it, and that is that this is a tone that we've decided to live with uh, all around us, uh, but that we don't really know much about and that we take very little responsibility for. So should we not stand in there too long, then, James? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I'll give you an example. Uh, those, are, those are actual recordings of hydroelectric boxes, and after about uh, 50 15 to 20 minutes of, of recording sessions, I would, you know, turn off the recorder, take the headphones off, walk home, and I every time felt, you know, felt like absolutely nauseous. Uh, so yes, I have, I have now given this to you.
except to say that the source material of the piece is a choreographed, at least it's choreographed for video, these two dancers performing a sequence of movements. And that kind of, through a series of variations. And what I will say about the source is it's from a, a news event, video footage of a very dramatic, very politicized news event that has been, uh, we all, all deal with the world of news as a kind of uh, universe of information and of facts. And this piece came from looking at this particular news event and thinking about the person who was involved in this news event and what this event was doing to them and their body and the gestures that they were carrying out in this particular very tragic situation. And the piece itself is taking all of the physical gestures, the sequence of gestures of this person, and having them be performed by dancers. I'm so happy that Open Space and Media they gave me this opportunity to show, um, to basically showcase this outside in public because to me it's like very interesting to use public and people who do not necessarily walk into the gallery or museums to take a look at art. This this piece becomes a sculpture, becomes something that you know you go out night and you notice that you discover it or not. You know I am interested in all, all kinds of observations um, taken from people that like, notice it and walk by or they just want something enigmatic happens with that exchange of um, gaze or connection. So, um, uh, and this is my first time showing you public spaces, so I'm really interested to see how that sort of unravels.